but think again for the future. When people are looking at Hugo's, how are they presented? Or is it gonna be a legitimate ward done appropriately for our future? Thank you. Mr. Stanley, yes. Kevin Stanley, how much debate time remains against the motion? There's roughly one minute, I believe. Yes, Mr. one Mr. minute. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move to uh, ex uh, extend the debate time to uh, total it up to a total of four minutes remaining, two minutes each side. Second. Is there any objection? Yes, objection. Yes. All right, we're going to vote on this. Extend debate requires a two-thirds vote in favor. All those in favor of extending debate by four minutes, two minutes per side. All right, hands. Yes, two minutes. Set it to four minutes. Oh, so resetting to four minutes, two minutes per side. All those in favor. All right, hands down. All those opposed. No, yeah, that's not two-thirds. No, it's not two-thirds. Yeah, I'm going to say the noes have it. The noes do have it. Debate time is... Mr. Wilmoth, for what purpose does the member rise? You have a, about a minute. Mike Wilmoth, um, I have concerns about the... Um, option we're being given right now uh, until I can look at the data regarding how it compares against the other options, I would vote against, and I encourage everybody to do so. Mr. Walling, for what? The motion to call the question is not in order with less than one minute of debate time remaining. Mr. Quinn, for what purpose does the member? Uh, Jameson Quinn, I move that we add language, I'm sorry I don't have language, uh, you know, it, ready, but that we add language to state that is the sense of the, the meeting that no work should be voted down in the second round. It is not appropriate to vote a work down in the second round for aesthetic reasons, that this is only a uh, a means of uh, eliminating illegitimate, completely illegitimate works, and no work should be voted down for, for aesthetic reasons. Is there a second for the motion to add? It's just a, it's just a sense of, it's not. It would need to be a resolution of the business meeting. Yeah. So that would up modify 3.8.3. And yeah. for we can fix yeah. up wording. We can, so we would, if the. That could just be a resolution of the meeting. I, I'm not sure if it would be, it would be in the text. Handle it. The text is a basis to reject it as a separate resolution or to tag it to this. You could say. I think it has to go with this because it doesn't make any no, sense no, if it <laughs> All right, so the motion has been offered and seconded to add text, which, if the meeting will allow it, the head table will work to create language along the lines of the maker's motion. Um, I have a parliamentary inquiry on the motion. Mr. Yes. Stanley. Kevin Stanley. Uh, I, I'm unclear on whether the maker intends for this to be language written into the Constitution or to be added as a, to the commentary in some way as a sense of the meeting involved with it. Could the, said, sense of the meeting. It is unclear that this, the way he's yes, put it, what, does he intend for this to create wording that would be written into the Constitution? That's all I would like to know. Uh, I, I honestly, I, I think the sense of the meeting would be fine. I'm just not sure of the parliamentary if I'm allowed to even make that, if that motion In that case, Mr. Chairman, I raise a point of order that the motion is not in order because we are considering a motion and he is attempting to introduce a resolution. Okay, oh, so the, then the in point. that case, I will make the motion to add to the text of the... Of the if you want that, that's fine. You would, no, yeah, yeah, it is, and I, mean, I believe, Mr. Chairman, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So the motion has been moved and seconded. There's no time left for debate. So we're just going to vote on... 
the, the time expired while the maker was making his mo amendment. Mr. Rett may have something to say. Mr. Rett, for what purpose does the member rise? Please come to the microphone. This is a question Name. for the parliamentary. Name. Joe Rett, I believe that there is a bit of ignorance here that I would like qualified. If my understanding is that the section 3.8 um, of the Constitution is on the Hugo ballot. And he is asking to have the ballot changed, which would be a change to the Constitution, would it not? He, the maker did agree that he would like language written into the Constitution. That is the motion we are, that is currently before the Assembly, is to amend the 3SV motion to include text which would be written into the Constitution and thus appear on the Hugo ballot that it is the sense that vote work should not be voted down for purely aesthetic reasons. It would be an addition to 382. Yes, the, the entire section 3 appears with, is sent out with the ballot. It doesn't actually appear on it, but it is sent out with the ballot. So, seeing as how to... Uh, Mark Olson, if we're going to vote on an amendment to the Constitution, could I please ask that the actual language be stated? Pig in the poke really is not the thing to do. Uh, so. something like members should not vote no for aesthetic reasons. M Mr. Quinn, do you wish to try and put some language together in, I, I would currently go with members shall not vote yeah. for purely aesthetic reasons in the second round of voting, but. Yes, I, I, I agree with that language. The only question, sorry, the only question that I have is uh, where exactly that would go. I'm in 3.8. It would, it would be in section 3.8.2. I agree, that is, that is so moved. Right. All right. All those in favor of the amendment, please. Yes, I will repeat it for the, the meeting. To amend 3.8.2 to read, no member shall vote in the, to, to add, no member shall vote. No, no, no semi-finalist, I believe is the term we're using qualifier. should qualifier should be voted down for purely aesthetic reasons. Should. Should. No qualifier should be voted down for purely aesthetic reasons would be an addition to 3.8.2. The answer is, the question is, how would the vote counters know? The answer is, they don't. <laughs> that isn't, that's kind of a... Um, that's debate on the motion. All, okay, we're gonna vote on this now. All those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. Jason Jameson's amendment will be No, Jameson's amendment. All right, hands down, all those opposed. The no's seem to have it, the no's do have it, the motion fails. We are now gonna vote on the underlying Mr. Rett, for what purpose does the member rise? I want to remind you, I have to read Joe Rett, I have a question for why the body is being asked to vote on a motion for which we have data which has not been given to the body. That's debate on the motion, it's out of order, time for debate has expired. That's debate on the process. No, it's uh, not. All right, we're gonna vote on the under, for what purpose does the member rise? Uh, see, um, still wanting to, Darcy Conaty. Still wanting to clarify eligible voters question. because if it is voters, it's a moving target at the point that we're discussing. So I'm wondering if we need, I, I don't know it is how we Anybody who we has have. a membership before the close of the second phase of voting. So if someone 